welcome to the Teaching Corner. My name is Mama Norris and I want to share some tips with you for the weekend that you're moving into college. This is a really exciting time as you're getting prepared and ready to go off for a big transition in your life and I just wanted to help you with a few tips and tricks that will make it a little bit less stressful even though I know it's a high anxiety time in your life but a little less stressful and where you're going to feel a little bit more successful. So the very first thing is to remember to pack early. You can already go ahead and some of those things that are specifically for college, be putting all of those things together, making it as easy to carry as possible. If you're using tubs or bins, go ahead and start prepacking some of those. And if you're using boxes, remember to go ahead and label things. Try to put like things together. If you're moving into a, an apartment, put kitchen stuff together, bedroom stuff together, school supplies together, bathroom stuff together. If you're moving into a dorm, you can do it maybe clothes and, and some of your bathroom cleaning supplies and things that you want for your bed. Try to put those together so it's easier and quicker for you when you unpack. The second thing to remember is remember to bring cleaning supplies. When you're walking into uh, your dorm room or to your apartment, whichever one you're in, remember you're walking into something that someone else has lived in and it may or may not have been cleaned very well. So I would strongly suggest bringing um, Clorox wipes so that you can wipe quickly wipe down all the surfaces before you put your things in those places. And also if you're living in an apartment um, or even if you're living in a dorm and you bring a rug, don't forget to bring a vacuum. Lots of students forget that they'll remember spray and claws and things like that to clean the bathroom, but they won't remember to bring a bathroom, a, a, a vacuum, sorry. Another thing to do before you move in is check in with your move-in policy. If you're moving into the dorms, there may be a certain day, a certain time that you're allowed to move in. They may have a particular place that they want you to park. There may be carts available. Ask if there's carts available to help with move-in. Sometimes other students or organizations on campus will have students there to help you with move-in. So make sure you know all of those details prior to arriving on campus to help make it a little less stressful for you and to make it flow a little bit quicker. Also, there may be a specific way for you to check in with your keys. It might be something on your phone, um, if you have physical keys or a fob. And then also check for banned items. If you're not allowed to bring, like for instance, a kettle or candles, or you're not allowed to bring a heating element or something like that, make sure you don't pack those things so you're not packing any banned items. And even check, read through your apartment agreement if you're moving into an apartment and make sure you know all the things that you are allowed to have and all the things that you are not allowed to have so that you don't get into trouble or eventually get kicked out. Then of course the fun stuff is moving in, cleaning, moving all your stuff in, putting your stuff away, but be sure in that process that you meet your roommate if at all possible. And as you guys are making decisions about where things should go or what you wanna do, make sure you guys are communicating so that no one feels like they are being left out of the conversation or things are just happening. But be as polite and as friendly as you can during move-in. This is a high stress situation. There's gonna be a lot of nervous students, especially if you're freshmen, a lot of nervous students not knowing what they're supposed to do or where they're supposed to go. So please give everybody lots of grace and know that everybody else is going through these same emotions as you are and it's okay to take a deep breath and to calm down for a minute or to you know if you need to step inside the bathroom for a second just to have a second to yourself that it's going to be okay and you're going to get through this the next thing that you want to do is to explore the campus so if you are living off campus in an apartment make sure that you go on to campus and, and I know everybody wants to know where the library is and where the student center is and where you get food and all of those things are wonderful and great and where all the fun activities are happening. And be sure you put all of those in your calendar on your phone so that you can do all of the things the first week or two that they have lots of exciting things going on. But it's also really important for you to make sure that you know where the financial aid office is that you know where uh, the counseling office is. I suggest that for every student 
because you never know if there's going to be a point in time where you're going to feel overwhelmed and just need somebody to talk to. If you are a student with a disability and you in, in uh, high school you had an IEP or a 504, make sure you know where the Office of Disabilities is located. You should have this summer already had a meeting with the Office of Disabilities and sent them paperwork and maybe talked about what your accommodations are going to be. But, and then you have to contact them to send send letters to all of your professors or, or your teachers so that they know what your accommodations are. But even with that, you need to make sure that all of them receive those letters and that they don't have any questions about what accommodations you're using and when you'll need to be using those. That's also if you take tests in a quiet setting, often where that's going to happen. So it's really important you know where that office is in case you were to have any difficulties. Also find out where the tutoring center is. Every college is different in how they handle that, but make sure you know where that is. So day one, if you go to a math class and you don't understand the homework, you need to know where it is that you go to have tutoring services. Also make sure that you know how to get your parking pass, if that's online, if it's something you have to print out, if it's something that, um, when I was in school, we had to go to the police office there on campus and we got a little sticker to put in our window. So just know where all of those different places are so that you know where the important things are and can find them and don't feel overwhelmed when you're on your own later. Another thing that I strongly recommend that you do is walk your schedule. So walk your Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, and then walk your Tuesday, Thursday schedule. There's nothing more stress inducing than not knowing where you're supposed to be. This will also give you the opportunity to find out, is this realistic? So that if you need to have any of your uh, classes changed, you can do so before school even starts. Because if you only have 15 minutes and one building is over here and the other building is all the way across campus, and you didn't realize that when you made your schedule this summer, you'll then have the ability to go ahead and fix that. And that'll also allow you on the first day of class to just worry about getting to class and not be anxious to find out where all of these things are. Another thing that I would recommend, if you haven't already done so, don't get your textbooks yet. When you walk into class on the very first day, some of your professors are required to put a textbook on their syllabus, but then they never use it or they use an online version of it. So just make sure that before class, I know that sounds counterintuitive and we wanna be all ready and have all our books ready to go, but wait until you actually go to class and find out from the professor if they're going to use this book. And then my other recommendation from that would actually also seem counterintuitive, don't buy them at the campus bookstore. You can almost always find them cheaper either online um, or from a, a reseller. I know when I was in college, there was literally one right across the street from campus that sold discount books. Um, and, and many times they're required to always ask for the latest version, but be sure if, if you need the physical textbook that you ask your professor, if the prior uh, version is okay to use, many times all they've done is add something to the beginning or add something to the end, and it just changes a few page numbers, but the textbook itself is pretty much the same, but that's not always true. I will tell you that I recently had a textbook that the third version and the fourth version were dramatically different because the third version did not include any online resources and the fourth version had a ton of online resources in, embedded in the book. So it is important to ask your teacher which way uh, if you need the newest one or if an older version is okay. And then the last thing to help you feel comfortable in your area, um, if you were visiting lots of colleges and all of these things start to blend together, it may feel a little bit overwhelming. So after you found all the things on campus and you feel nice and good about your first day of classes, be sure that you, you uh, explore a little of the community 
find stores that are going to matter to you. It might be the grocery store. It might be some places to eat. It might be a good pharmacy. If you take medications or even if you just happen to get sick, where would you go for that? Make sure you know where the health clinic is located, where gas stations are, where you buy your gas so that you feel like you uh, know the area and don't get overwhelmed with what's going on. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you, you are loved and there's nothing you can do about it. Bye.